Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nush. I do reactions here on YouTube. Today we are moving on from Eurovision. I'm not saying this is it for Eurovision, don't worry, there is stuff coming this week. But today we are doing an Armenian related video. <laughs> Something that has been requested for me to do for a while actually and to be honest I love these anyway and that is reacting to Armenian memes I think I got hair on, yep, fluff on my face If you guys aren't interested in memes, if you guys aren't interested in anything funny or humour then maybe don't watch this video but if you are, don't worry, we will be delving right in Now Armenian culture is very much like Middle East and I would say I know everyone's gonna come at me like we're not in the Middle East but you basically are in the Middle East so deal with it. Gotcha bitch. Our culture I think will be related to Greeks, Middle Eastern, Arabic, you name it, all of those countries in the Mediterranean and the Middle East will probably relate to these memes. It's, it's gonna be funny regardless, so you should watch it even if you're not Armenian. Before we get started guys, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel here. Very important for you to do that. Don't know what that accent was. Yeah, no. Yeah. And also go over to Instagram and follow me over there. It is Anush101, just like my channel. Am I sick? I've been given a couple Instagrams to go on specifically. Okay, so we are on Instagram now. Let, first of all, let's follow Hamov because that name in itself is just amazing. So Hamov in Armenian means like tasty. So basically it just means tasty food. But I love it when Armenians use like proper Armenian words because I don't know why, just to me is like the freshest thing ever. This is the kind of thing that you would have going to your grandma's or you saw that right the door just moved and none of my windows are open anyway so this is the kind of thing that you would put out if you have guests or maybe an armenian auntie which means anyone over the age of 30 basically you would have this always on your table regardless i'm pretty sure most middle easterns will get this as well like prunes, apricots, and they're all dried. Dried prunes, apricots, figs, raisins, the best. Armenians in quarantine be like, <laughs> that is so true. Armenians literally will not stop at barbecuing meat. Like the kebab will come out. So when we went to Armenia, we tried this bread. This was Armenian food from Armenia. It is different. So basically it's like herbs inside of this like really good bread and it's absolutely amazing. Highly recommend it. It's called Jingli. Jingli. Basically they were calling it Jingli Mingli and it's called Jingalov Huts, which Huts is bread. That's funny because that will always remind, remind me from back when we were in Armenia and they were like Jingli Mingli and I'm like, what the hell is Jingli Mingli? <gasps> Okay, so this thing, this is an um, Armenian, also Cypriots have this as well. It's nuts, walnuts that are dipped in grape juice like over and over and over again until it builds this really sticky, gooey, it's basically like an old school wine gum or like fruit winder, you know, fruit roll up, that kind of thing, but it's really like gelatinous and uh, I don't know why I'm doing that with my hands, but that's funny because it genuinely does look like what they're wearing. Okay, my my family just came home with a bunch of Buster and Ma because it's not like anyone is gonna smell us for the next few weeks. Oh my god, yes. So if anyone don't, if any of you don't know, Buster Ma is a very, very, very strong smelling sausage, um, and it's got this like garlic, overpowering garlic. Like you will open your fridge if it's got Buster Ma in, it will stain everything in your fridge for weeks. Cannot get rid of the smell. Even if you eat it, it comes through your skin. I don't know how, it, but it's the most amazing thing ever, so don't let it discourage you from eating it, but now's the time to try it, folks, just saying. If California cancels all events over 250 people, then how is any Armenian supposed to get married? So true. <gasps> like, literally, Armenians don't do anything in small packages. Everything has to be big, including the weddings. Have you seen my big fat Greek wedding? It's pretty much the same thing. Be here. <laughs> Armenian men get two lives once they are born and once they remove the unibrow. <laughs> 
It's so true. I'm sorry, Armenia man. You really don't have it good, do you? You've got hairy face, hairy body, hairy feet, hairy toes. You name it, an Armenian has hair on it. Okay, is it a boy or a girl? So, Horovats is, well, we call it just kebab, but in Armenia, it's a bit different. It's just literally just chunks of meat on a stick. Sorry, vegan. It's amazing. It tastes great, but that's literally just saying she's got a food baby, but it's just funny when it said, like, in Armenian. I don't know why. <laughs> Everything's funnier in Armenian to me. Okay, this one has got to be funny. How Armenia is panic by? Right, let's see. Are they getting the bread? What they... Oh my god, they're just clambering on the bread! <laughs> oh my... Do they realise they're probably going to get sick in the making of clambering on top of each other? No, they wouldn't, because they don't think like that. The bread is the priority. I have not had any issues with panic buying anything, because I have everything already stocked up. If anyone knows me, I this is the one Armenian trait that has stuck in my jeans and I can't seem to get rid of it. I always stockpile anyway. I just assume everyone had a second fridge and a Costco in their garage. My friend Natalia, her house, literally, they had a second fridge. Actually, all, we had a second fridge as well. Every Armenian has a second fridge, right? Because I thought that was normal too. I've literally always thought everyone should have a second fridge. No, I guess it's an Armenian thing. The second fridge is for where we put food for when Corona happens. On the outside, I love love, but on the inside, I tough tough. <laughs> Some it's hurting by the way. Literally, I felt that. I felt that one. Cooking with your mum goes one or two ways. You guys bond and have a good time, or she's yelling at you the whole time. That's literally the my, the epitome of me and my mother's relationship. Rip. Sorry, mum. <laughs> Love ya. Um, <laughs> but that is so true. And forget number one if guests are coming over. Literally, Armenians are during guest time, like, the preparation is two weeks in advance, sometimes months in advance. I've had it when my mom's thinking about her meals way ahead, and then there's no preparation until the last minute. And at the last minute, the house is turned upside down. The groceries are out. Bags and bags of pasta, bags and bags of lechmajuns, bags and bags of gubes, literally everything. So, believe me, Armenians during a party, you don't want to deal with the mother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the men have zero head hair and a million body hairs. Like, literally, why? Why? Okay, so now we're gonna go on to Anushala, which is another Instagram I was recommended. Anushala is like what you would say to someone to say, like, eat nicely or like enjoy your meal, basically, that's what you would say. Um, or even if you come out of the shower and your grandmother sees you, it's she'll say, she'll say it to you. I don't really know why we say that. <laughs> oh, this one's really funny. Okay, so my mum's face when I'm trying to cook something. This was more for me, for my grandparents as well. But this is absolute gold. The, I just got back from Armenia, starter pack. This is so true. Oh my gosh, Grand Candy is like the only decent chocolate shop, sweet shop in Armenia. And you always come back with that. It's basically that... The signature thing is like a walnut covered chocolate thing. It's so good. It's amazing. And there's always like apricots in there. I once ate a whole box and uh, I was not okay <laughs> after that. The worst part about getting your presents on your birthday, a hundred percent literally from one, like there'd be some people that I don't even know existed at parties and they would be coming up to me and I'd have to pretend that I knew them and the kisses that you would get during her birthday is very overwhelming and I mean on cheeks, don't worry guys. Just to clarify. <laughs> my parents, when I'm telling them my mental health is struggling from their crippling pressure and constant nagging. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. I'm here to tell you right now. Yeah. <laughs> we know that now, mom. When he's Armenian, respects you as an equal, cleans up after himself and knows how to work a girl. A mangal's a barbecue, by the way. That is why. Uh, this is literally me when I met Johnny. Nobody. Tuntig's at a wedding. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when I watched the Super Bowl, I did. 
And I, I don't know why I never said it, but like the whole Lulu thing is a Middle Eastern thing and English. Okay, have fun, sweetie. Australian. Okay, have fun, sweetie. <laughs> okay, have fun, sweetie. Armenians. Boron head. Or. Inch bidianek of bidiela hon, inchu get haskor, yep dun bidikas, drugs, mugs, chines ha, hasnis ne telefonere. Every Armenian mom ever at their child wedding. Oh, I already can tell. Ha! Minaya! Okay, guys, I think we're gonna leave it on there. Hope you guys have a good day. I hope this wasn't too boring for anyone that wasn't Armenian. I will be back tomorrow, don't worry, for another video. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.